Hello everybody and welcome back to another Brood War Ladder Battle. This one, very special cast because it's been sponsored by a Czech guy who asked the age-old question, the one that's been on everybody's mind, what does a PvP on Monty Hall that surpasses 20 minutes look like? And so we went to see wall.gg, found some games that are above 2300 MMR Turns out there's only three that have been played on the ladder, so a very rare set of circumstances. And out of the three, I've chosen the best one. Our Czech friend offered to sponsor a cast today so that his generosity can help to satisfy our curiosity as we jump into this game. Guys, I am not above pouring out my voice for a bit of cash. If you ever think you want to sponsor a video, it's not expensive. You just need to ask. Go over to Discord. Contact me. Let me know what you're looking for. And we can, we can talk. We can chat. It's a rough life out here for a StarCraft Brood Warcaster need all the help that we can get so I definitely appreciate those of you who decide to support either th whether that be on patreon uh, or through sponsoring a cast or any of the other ways that you guys do help support this channel so well and so here we are the Nexus first versus Nexus first in this PvP I have no idea who these two players are they are complete no-names, but they're getting a spotlight here because they achieved something. <laughs> they achieved something special. Something that's only happened a few times on the ladder before. An S rank 20 minute PVP on Monty Hall. Now that is, that is seriously special stuff. Special in uh, in a different kind of way, if you know what I mean. It's it's very special. So, oh look at that! A little bit of a probe or a pylon block with this probe. That's a sneaky play, actually. Kind of like that move. The Nexus was a little bit slower for our Red Protoss, so putting down the pylon in that wall is going to slow this down by quite a bit. Could even rebuild it. Oh, you sneaky bugger! Red probe getting in there and blocking it for a second time is so annoying, but it won't last for very much longer, of course. Now that the minerals have been mined, you can just get a zealot out to chase this probe. That pylon's not really going to matter. I don't know why he's letting that finish. He really should have canceled, but whatever. He's going to let it going to let it finish for now. Guess it gives him some vision or something. I don't know. Forge coming in to play here for the blue Protoss and Red is just sitting on one gateway. He hasn't really thrown down anything else. All right, Robo finally going to go down. It's a little bit slow, though. I was starting to think he might be going for like a third Nexus or something with how much money he was banking up there, but it's not going to be the case. We've got the one Zealot hitting this pylon. Dragoon will chase down the probe. Now that that's been removed, he can throw down some tech of his own. The forge, I don't know what that was for. I guess he was thinking that there might be some sort of aggression coming. But he hops a probe over into his opponent's main. And he'll see just two gateways and a robo. That is it for Red Protoss for the time being. And so, even footing right now. But look at this. Plus one attack has just been started. Plus one attack and a Stargate. This can only be for one thing. Well, it could be for a couple of different things, but only one thing that makes any sense. That's carriers. If we were going to go for scouts, it would just be a complete troll build. But, I mean, this is about as troll as it gets. PvP on Monty Hall. Two base carrier is going to be the play from our blue Protoss. He's got the one pylon over here spotting the minerals, so he's going to see 
if these are being mined out or not but they are indeed not being mined and so he doesn't need to throw down any cannons can just focus on getting his stargates and fleet beacon going triple stargate back at home and red is none the wiser he is just building observers i think gonna get a shuttle out then an observer will he go for reaver yeah he's gonna get into a reaver afterwards but i wonder if he can get over here and deal any damage before the carriers come online Fleet Beacon is done already, and a carrier will start. That very first carrier already in production at 6 minutes and 20 seconds. A hilarious build for Monty Hall. And, you know, ask and you shall receive. You may w think you want to see a 20-minute PvP on Monty Hall, but unless you were hoping for... <laughs> triple stargate carrier you might be feeling a little disappointed right now or, or i don't know maybe you're happy about this depends on uh, which point of view you're taking triple stargate carrier now let me just kind of game this out a little bit like let's let's think about this what's the reason why carriers aren't used in pvp generally well because you can't be attacked or you can just attack early and kill the opponent uh, you need reavers, you need dragoons to fight off um, the early game pressure. So uh, that's that's one reason. The other reason is that your opponent can just go for DTs, uh, morph them into dark archons, and then just start stealing your carriers with mind control. Uh, that's more of a very late game stage type of thing. So usually, uh, you know, if, if the map gets completely split in half, somebody might try to go carriers. Uh, not in today's day and age though because they know that uh, one the other player will just go dark archons and win um, So that is the usual case for why players don't go for dark archon or for carriers But in this game, we don't have that That tech is miles away. This is super early in the game eight minutes in there's no way to have dark archons and there's no way to really put on pressure yet. He is going to start to move out on the map. There's another pace going down over on the left-hand side. That should die. And this Reaver might be able to get in and deal some damage. However, three carriers are out already. As long as he doesn't fly, you know, way out on the map. And then the Reaver comes in, just kills all the probes. He should be okay. The Reaver's going to come in from this angle. I think he completely missed that third base. There's not enough cannons. The carriers are going to start to come back to deal with this. The Reaver is going to come in and deal so much damage. Oh boy, this Dragoon distraction is fantastic. He's just going to run forward. Start to hit that. Reaver goes into the main. Boom. Huge hit there. Three kills already. Probes are just going to be pulled though. Okay. Going after one of the carriers. Dragoons still do a lot of damage versus carriers if they can get to them. Um, that one carrier very low. The Reaver has a bunch of kills, but not as many as uh, could have happened in this game. Could have gotten basically every probe, um, but a good pull by our blue Protoss. Oh my god! That was a lot of probes. Oof, that was a lot of probes. And it looks like uh, maybe a third going to come down for a red? No, not just yet. That's plus one, plus two on the way. Two more carriers in production as well. Total now, what, five? Five carriers. Has three bases. Kind of got away with that one. Uh, being chased by an observer as another shuttle goes around the outside, which is not a good sign. He's just, he's got full vision of these carriers, so he can just run around them, start to hit and uh, deal economic damage. This shuttle is going to come in, probably deal a huge amount more in the main base. 38 to 45 probes. Carriers are just going to go for it. This is going to be some sort of base trade scenario, I guess. This Reaver is going to get a lot of kills, I think. Four kills already. Looks like another two going down there. This base is going to get taken out. But the carriers, there's not really a good answer for them. A lot of cannons are being made right now. Cannons are not the greatest against carriers, man. You can never hit the carrier. 
Um, but he does get one of them. Wow, he gets a carrier kill. Dragoon's pretty good against carriers, I guess. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that that exact sentence, but uh, there you have it. Gonna go ahead and jump on top of these cannons now. Probably will lose some of the interceptors, but if he uses the gateways as a block, we can probably just uh, deny the dragons from ever getting on top of them. He can even go back into this corner, kind of like a muta hide it uh, in the back. I guess there is some space for the dragons to run by there, but it would be hard to get through that area. Oh, losing almost everything, but he's still got this base. Red has no idea about the base uh, over at center left. And so this could actually lose him the game. He's got a thousand minerals, a thousand minerals in the bank. He can keep making interceptors for a long time. Of course, Red's uh, overall income is not being denied either. He's keeping his income very high. Um, and picking picking off some of these carriers, running forward, dealing some damage to carriers every single time. Another carrier comes out, makes its way across the map. There's like nothing back at home for our blue Protoss player, but he's got so many carriers and he's got a bit of mineral income. He's going to make some cannons over at this area that still hasn't been spotted yet. I think Red believes that he's won this game, but he may end up losing still. Dragoons are not running forward, trying to pick off any of these carriers. Some more Dragoons pop out. Now he's going to run forward, try to pick one of these off. He's dealing some damage. One of these is very low. But Dragoons continue to pump out six at a time. I don't know if the Interceptor is going to eventually overcome this. The carriers can win this fight. Dragoons are coming back from the front lines. Only a few are going to be left. Uh, in that main base to clear out the uh, buildings. And Blue gonna rotate a little bit, but he gets caught. He's getting caught. Dragoons from both sides. He's gonna lose one of these carriers. Another one could end up going down. There's no space to run away down here. He definitely could have flown north and found a better position, but instead he's gonna lose another carrier. No, the carrier stays alive. 17 HP. Oh my goodness. Dragoons could actually catch up to this and maybe kill no they're gonna be sent back through the map i think he just saw he had to have just seen these yeah yeah he sees that <laughs> he sees the gateways so he must know at this point that there's another base there's still a stargate he's rebuilding a bunch of gateways a lot of dragoons are coming out though this is scary just five carriers and three photon cannons. I don't think that's going to be enough. I'm gonna come up, kill off these two goons. He has plus two done, so that's pretty scary. Plus two is nasty on carriers. If he targets down well enough, really reduce this dragoon count before they try for the dive. They can't really dive on top when the cannons are there to help out. And so he's, he's killing off quite a few. Quite a few dragoons are going down, but another base is going to go up over in top right. I think that's the right choice. It's kind of like Terran versus Protoss, where you're just going to want to grab bases all over the place. Just start grabbing bases because the carriers are going to be very slow. It's not like they can check out, you know, all these bases over here uh, while they're busy defending uh, this one lone base on the center left. I'm gonna make some zealots to try and tank some damage for the carriers. Make sure that the dragoons can't dive on top of them. Will he be able to push in? Still five more dragoons on the way. This is so many dragoons. It's only five carriers. I know carriers are OP, but man, are we far behind at this point? 15 workers to 44. Dragoons are gonna suddenly spawn. They do start to get pulled back. Dragoons gonna be fighting while the zealots are jumping on top. Zealots are doing a lot of DPS in this fight. They're really putting on a ton of work to these Dragoons, and a lot of them are dying. Dude, we're running out of Dragoons. There's only two in production. He's out of minerals at the natural. The main base still has some minerals. He's just long distance mining from this base over in the top right. Is Blue gonna be able to take this win? It's so close. See that one carry with 17 HP still alive in this stack. He's got to be careful with these. He cannot be losing even a single one of them or this 
dream is gonna fall apart. Oh my god, a reaver over in this area. Picking off probes from this base. He's found the perfect location to drop that. And he's killing off all the probes. Dude, this is brutal. We're gonna lose every probe. Every probe is gonna go down. He only has 50 minerals remaining. Cannot make another nexus. All the cannons have been killed. He's just gotta run these probes away. He sees that there's more mining over in the top right. The probes are running somewhere. He's gonna check this base. He sees no base there. It's obvious to go and check that uh, base in the top left now. Okay, where is he going? He's gonna go check the island first. Dude, this guy has no idea where all these things are. Where are... Where is all of this coming from? Where did those probes go? Oh, please. Go to the top left. Go check it. I'm cheering for the carry player now with one probe remaining. Even though it's a complete scumbag build, it is hilarious to watch. He's gonna kill this Nexus. Nexus will go down shortly after. The probes will fall as well. Looks like a lot of them are going to be able to escape. However, where are you even gonna build a Nexus? He doesn't have enough money for a Nexus. He doesn't have... I mean, where does he long distance his mine even? I guess he long distance his mine here. Just get some minerals going. Get that Nexus out. But Dragoons are gonna come down and start to kill this base. He's mined enough money for... Okay, his Nexus is gonna die. So he, he literally cannot revive in this game. There's no way for him to come back. He has to win now with this one group of carriers. He's gonna kill the Robo. Or excuse me, the Reaver. The Reaver goes down. All right, I think I see how this game goes to 20 minutes. <laughs> Red is just going to run away. He is just going to keep running, try to mine some minerals, and sneak out a Nexus somewhere. The carriers can't split up. They need to be together to fight this group of Dragoons, but... He's going to head towards the main base now. As soon as he sees that the carriers are at the main... Immediate counterattack towards these buildings. Those are the final buildings remaining for our Protoss player. He doesn't even have enough money to build one pylon, unfortunately. So as he's losing these buildings, I think he needs to go and kill these dragoons. He has to go fight these. Killing off the Nexus is okay, but we need to stop the we need to stop the bleeding. It'll prevent all of these buildings from going down, or we are just going to lose. Uh, he's going to come up here, kill this Nexus, but of course, Red has another Nexus building over in top right once again. It's really the perfect place to take, considering that uh, it's the furthest away. Maybe even this, this one might be better. The furthest away from what he has to defend is over there. He has to get up there and kill these goons, man. If the goons go into this main, they have nowhere to escape to, though. Remember that. If the goons go up into the main, the carriers can scoot around and catch all of the goons in this area. And then most of them should die. It's like a nexus was cancelled. Oh god, he doesn't have enough! He doesn't have enough for a nexus and he can't return! Oh, he messed up so bad! He's got 94 minerals! Red has 94 minutes. <laughs> wait, wait. He canceled the Nexus? Oh my god. He doesn't have enough. He doesn't have enough. No. Oh my goodness. This one zealot is being chased by... I don't even know how many probes. There's so many probes that they're completely useless. They've all got minerals in their mouth, but nowhere to return them to. The observer is chasing. There's like... Four pylons and a simulator is the only things left. That is it. He's got nothing left. The probes can't mine. And they can't return. The dragoons, they can't fight the carriers. If he catches these dragoons, his game is over. Oh, he's gonna see it. He's gonna see it. He's gonna see it. He sees it. He sees it. There it is. There it is. Go, 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 go. He should be able to kill these dragoons. Dragoons are gonna jump on top of the carriers. One... Dragon, two dragons, one carrier maybe going down. Oh, I think he's got it. I think Blue's gonna take this one home. A huge mistake for Red. He had a Nexus building. I guess the cancel wasn't enough. 
to reimburse like you get 75% of the money back oh my god this is ridiculous guys the goons have been chased into the corner of the map I think what he has to do is yeah mine gas mine gas and then send all the probes that have gas to mine this mineral and sneak through he has to go up to the top he's got to break this mineral patch and get into the main that's his last hope that's literally the only thing he has left and he's got to do it fast he can't mess around all of these probes they should have been sent to the assimilator to re-up to get there like he can't oh he could probably hop can he hop with probes zealots and dragoons over this wall no he's got enough he's got enough probes he's got six probes there oh he's gonna spot it he spots it red is not acting quick enough he's running away with his dragoons and zealots rather than trying to get through he has to kill these buildings it's his only chance he threw away his possibilities of winning this game uh, when he revealed his dragoons if only he had kept them a little bit more to the side when those carriers swung by if they hadn't spotted that dragoon force he might have been able to get up in here and actually kill all of these buildings now he's gonna have to rotate all the way back around probes are gonna be killed the carriers are on the top side of the map he's still of course got that observer following these carriers which is a huge help let's take a look at the kill count 27 19 28 25 oh my goodness i think there's one underneath i didn't get a click on 18 kills on that carrier the dragoons are going to rotate around the bottom side but the carriers have not moved far enough yet i think he's pulling the trigger a little bit too early on these dragoons pushing forward he's gonna rotate back this is a little bit silly now really do need to open up some of these mineral patches to make uh to have there be options for a counter i'm gonna go ahead and hide I, this probe is actually so clutch spotting those units coming in maybe these probes can help to kill the the pylons send in a few probes start killing a pylon okay the carriers are going to split finally he's decided to split the carriers this is a very dangerous maneuver but it might be the only option he has four dragoons four dragoons over here five dragoons excuse me a fourth one very low on hp one hp in fact so that 18 in the 28 carrier i can't believe he sent the one that's low hp but GG is called. There it is. He's finally decided to tap out Red Protoss. Oh my goodness. I can't believe he lost because of that canceled Nexus. It is absolutely insane. Let's go back a little bit further. I want to see. I want to show you guys exactly what happened there. Oh man. He canceled this a long time ago. He's got the Nexus. He's got money. He spends his money on a bunch of Dragoons. Let's see it here. The Nexus is about to go down. Okay, this is this is the earlier Nexus. This is the one that ended up getting killed by Blue. Alright, so he rebuilds this Nexus. Let's see it. He's got the Nexus. Okay, there's the rebuild on the Nexus. Blue is coming through. He's killing off all of these Nexi. He's mining from this area, but he realizes that he can't return the minerals back over to here. He's got 94 in the pocket. 94 minerals in the pocket. He has the Nexus done, just about finished. And he decides to cancel. Watch this. This was the mistake of this game. The one that lost Red this victory. You can see he's, I don't know, sending the probes still. Some of them are hiding on the side. All he needs to do is send in these dragoons. Send in the dragoons. Force the carriers back. And there it is to cancel. Oh, man. The regret. 
is tangible. You can feel it. He went from, what was it, 94 minerals? Yeah, see, this is an easy calculation. You receive exactly 75% of your initial investment back. He had 94 minerals and he gets 300 back. He ends up with 394. I swear he could have won this game if he had just not canceled that. It's so crazy. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. That is so silly. That is just incredibly silly. Look, the, the carriers don't even come over to this top right again. They have no idea. See the probes run. He didn't even check. He didn't even check. He has to come up here to deal with this. And so this Nexus would have finished. He could have easily mined another 400 minerals. Throw down a Nexus somewhere else on the map. Keep running around. And potentially won this game. What a nail biter of a PvP. This was something special, guys. Shout out to Martin the Czech guy who sponsored this video. Just an insane match. Expect nothing less from a 20-minute Monty Hall PvP. Pretty hilarious, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this wacky, wacky game. I'll see you in the next video.